Aries, welcome to Angel Love 333. We're going to do your love reading today. I hope you're all well, you're healthy, and you're safe. A few things before we get started. Uh, please know that this may not resonate with every Aries out there. I do do um, general and love readings uh, each week, so you can check back with my other readings if this does not resonate. If it resonates, there will be an, an extended reading link below in the description box for you to check out. Uh, lastly, I do give away personal readings. To enter, you just need to subscribe, like, and comment. Or actually, you just need to subscribe and like. All right, uh, comments are hidden, but you can uh, comment if you like. Okay, two cards popped up for you. There's only been one other sign where there has been uh, two cards that came out. So definitely, I guess, a two messages for you, Aries. So let's see what your first card says here. It says, most people are trying to survive. Just remember, most people are so beguiled by your charm, awed by your confidence, and inspired by your choices. They simply forget to say thank you please and i love you like crazy as often as they feel the urge let's not be one of those people thank you please i love you like crazy the universe all right so i feel like basically what they're saying here if somebody here hasn't treated you right or somebody here isn't giving you that compliment that recognition right expressing that they love you they they want you to not take on that same energy okay so somebody needed to hear that message now you have pucker up buttercup <laughs> being fair and reasonable will earn you respect and admiration but being genuinely kind will make you a total love magnet go for love magnet the universe all right so so Aries, this is an indication here that you have the potential here to be that love uh, magnet, okay? So pucker up. <laughs> all right, be kind, even if someone isn't being kind to you, all right? May not be a message for everyone, but somebody needed to hear that, okay? So we're going to pull some cards for you, Aries. We're going to look at your energy. Your person's energy, we're going to get the mutual energy, and then we're going to clarify what is needed, all right? So let's get started here. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages does, I'm going to put this here for a little bit of support there. What messages does Aries need to know? What messages does Aries need to know? What's the energy here for Aries? Okay, so you have the Ten of Wands, the Judgment card. You have the Six of Wands. Let's um, get your person's energy. Oh, okay. Multiple cards falling out here. Let's get the mutual energy between you and your person. Okay, you're showing up strong in your reading, center of your read here, Aries, as the emperor. Okay, it's not about male or female, it's about the energy. Bottom of the deck here, you have the queen of wands. Okay, so I'm really picking up here, Aries, either you made the decision to be single or you are making some sort of decision here to be single or to explore your options when it comes to love. Some of you may have even recently put yourself out there. Definitely picking up a very strong, single, independent uh, energy. So you have the Ten of Wands. It shows me definitely that you have been through some struggles, okay? Some past hurts here with the Judgment card as well. And I sense here that this is the end of a difficult time for you, okay? So I'm getting the energy with those two cards from the universe um, that there may have been somebody who didn't treat you well, maybe somebody who wasn't kind to you, or somebody who just couldn't, you know, put um, themselves out there or give you your heart or give you their heart, okay? But I feel that this struggle is soon to be over and some of you may be making a decision, you know, to let bygones be bygones, put things in the past 
right? Healing from it and moving on, okay? Instead of carrying that energy with you. You have the Six of Wands here as well, okay? So this tells me that if that's the direction that you are moving in, right? That is your goal, okay? I feel like this for some of you is what you're really trying to focus on to move on from a past situation where it was, you know, definitely there was some sort of hurt or life lesson, okay, that was learned through this. And it was a challenge. It was a struggle. It wasn't something easy. I feel that you're going to be, we read in that card, I feel that you're going to be more respected. You're going to be more of a magnet because there are people watching you. People I feel here are inspired by you, just like that card said. They see you as successful. Maybe they see you make good decisions. You may even own your own business or you hold um, a very prominent position or uh, some level of authority you know whether it's you know with work or maybe you know for church or you know something here but people look up to you and I feel um, by you handling this situation and them seeing you go through the situation you're really going to motivate other people okay that's what I'm really picking up in this energy now <clears throat> in your recent past you have the nine of pentacles so as I said, some of you may have recently come, become single, okay? Or it, yeah, I feel recently you may be making that decision here to take some sort of action, becoming more independent, right? Single, okay? Some of you may also be just very focused on your money, your career, okay? Things that you are passionate in life, okay? Maybe you're going out, you're having fun, you're going out with friends, uh, if this is work-related, okay, where you've been putting your time and energy, it looks really good for you, okay, with this eight and nine pe uh, pentacles. Your hard work, your time, your passion here is really going to pay off. So uh, we talked about the center of your read, the emperor here, okay? This shows me definitely you are in com complete control here. I feel that you've definitely been through something here that was very heavy for you okay a connection a relationship a situation with someone here that was very heavy on your shoulders okay and I feel that you know I feel you have feelings for this person and you may have been genuinely kind to this person all right we're going to clarify some of these cards you also have here the three of wands this is in your foundation okay this is what is stable I feel the stability here is about you exploring your options, you looking at the future, deciding what your intention is, okay? You know, what your goal is here. Some of you, this may be just putting yourself out there, opening yourself up to dating if you want love in your life, okay? Now, in your near future position, you do have the Hierophant. We will clarify this card. This can be an upcoming... Um, relationship i also feel this can also be spiritual growth okay some of you may be getting involved in some spiritual activities or you know really um focusing on your faith okay but it's also um, an energy here of spiritual wisdom okay spiritual learning here with the emperor here that's really good energy here with the hierophant can also tell me here that you're very connected right now okay very connected to your intuition to the divine here and also um you're in control okay definitely feel a lot of energy here of you being in control um and determining your focus and the direction that you're going now in your outcome position you do have the king of cups we'll see if this is a particular person this can just be your feelings your emotions your kindness okay a lot of you i feel this is about your your kindness okay so let's look at your person's energy your person's energy of the five of cups and the five of pentacles all right your person is having regrets here your person is definitely having regrets here. Your person right now, I, I can tell you, they're feeling alone. Okay, this is somebody I feel who is definitely spending a lot of time alone. They're showing up here as the hermit. It could be a Virgo you're dealing with. Yeah, I want to say here too, you have strong Taurus. Um, you have Capricorn as well. You have water energy, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. 
and you also have Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Basically, we have all the energies on the board here, and we've got the Page of Swords for air energy, but your person here is spending a lot of time alone. I feel like they're reflecting on this, okay? They're reflecting on the past. I feel what went wrong, okay? Um, definitely, this is someone who is feeling alone. I also feel this is somebody who's doing some spying on you, okay, with this Page of Swords. So... Um, we will clarify these cards. We'll go back to it. And let's uh, look at your other energies here. Okay. So what are we going to clarify first? I'm going to clarify this um, Nine of Pentacles. See what this energy is for you. Like I said, some of you could be very focused oh, on money or career. Too many cards here, but I will tell you the Five of Pentacles jumped out. So some of you may have recently become single because this may have been somebody who didn't value you, didn't see your worth, or maybe that you just felt alone with this person. So you thought, well, maybe I should be single anyway. Why is the uh, Nine of Pentacles here, please? Why is the Nine of Pentacles here, please? Some of you, I'm, I just heard, you know, you may have been called towards your calling, your purpose here in life, especially, I feel, with this Emperor, this Hierophant, the Judgment card, and that um, Six of Wands. So let's see what we got here. Three of Wands, Chariot, bottom of the deck here, Five of Swords. Okay, so, you know, you may have felt betrayed by this person. Okay, you may have felt betrayed by this person or somebody here was playing games. Yeah, I feel like you may have cut somebody here out of your life or this was somebody here that maybe there was a life lesson here, okay, that you needed to learn your self-worth here and walk away. You have the King of Swords, you have the Three of Wands, and you have the Chariot. Yeah, I feel that recently, or it can be now you making the decision, I feel you're, you're becoming quite clear here about what you want, your intention here, okay? There's an element here of truth being revealed for your own uh, progress, your own stability here. And I feel there's an energy here of, of you moving on from a situation that um, where somebody was either playing games or somebody here definitely didn't have the best intentions here with that five of swords okay could be dealing with a cancerian so i feel like you are just very focused on either your goals your dreams here or opening yourself up to other love options around you okay whether you know you're doing online dating or whether you know you're just uh, meeting people where you go. Let's see why the Three of Wands is here, please. Devil card, strong Capricorn energy. The Emperor. The Nine of Cups. See at the bottom of the deck here, Six of Pentacles. Okay. I would just say be a little bit careful, Aries, okay? I see you open up your options here, thinking about the future, all right? I feel like your ego could be a little bit hurt uh, from this person here. Um, I feel that there's definitely an energy here where you could still be a little bit hopeful, okay? If this person came back around or this person, you know, reached out to you, I would just say be careful here because I feel like this could be still something you're hoping for with this star card. Let's see what's below the six of pentacles. You have the six of pentacles, you have the sun card, and you have the moon. Okay, so this is, I feel you're exploring, right? You're exploring what could be in the future here, looking for your happiness here. I feel that you may not feel that you have complete clarity, okay, from this person here, but I do see with this six, 
Six of Pentacles. You still have feelings and emotions, okay? And, the, and this moon card, you're dealing with the Pisces. Could be dealing with the Pisces, okay? Six of Cups energy. I see you thinking about the past here, right? Maybe somebody here that you felt a very strong connection with, somebody you had a lot of chemistry with, okay? Do you see the Death card, Scorpio energy? So I do see there was some sort of ending here. So I feel like there's a part of you that's still reminiscing about the past, about this person, Um Maybe still hopeful, okay, that things could work out between you and them, okay? So there's a part of you, I feel, um, even though, some, you know, it may have been something that was not a good situation or not a healthy situation for you, I still feel that, you know, you may still be keeping that option on the side here, okay? The person's hands on one of these wands, Okay, so I feel like you could be, even though you're trying to move on from this situation, there's a part of you, Aries, I feel, for some of you, it may not be for all of you, okay, you're still holding on a little bit, like there's a little bit of hope, okay, clarifying the Emperor, we have the Two of Wands, we have the Ace of Wands, and we have the Five of Wands, and bottom of the deck here, you have the Sun card, yeah, definitely showing me here, you're struggling with this, okay, Two of Wands, Ace of Wands, Five of Wands. Okay, so there's some sort of inner struggle here. I feel it's going on within you. Okay, very strong fire energy here. I'm going to say here, Aries, that, that potentially this could be somebody new coming in, okay, with, the, with this Three of Wands here, the Five of Wands. Okay, you come across very charming here, as we saw in your universe message, the six of wands there, okay, attractive, single, grounded, okay, very successful. I feel like there could be a new opportunity that is brewing here for you, okay, competition here. And I'm going to say there's a, you know, it's that two of wands energy, you know, whether you're going to take that new path. At the bottom of the deck here, you have the sun card here. You're not quite sure, I feel, with the moon and the sun. I feel, what is the best direction? I feel your feelings and your emotions still for this person. Maybe you haven't done completely, you know, done your healing here, okay? Or haven't completely moved past the emotional part of this. But I feel you're not entirely sure here. Okay, what you want. Now, the Sun card, you could be dealing with a strong Leo. Let's see why the Hierophant is here. Okay, so this is your near future position. Why is the Hierophant here, please? You have the Nine of Wands. You have the Three of Pentacles, the Lovers. Oh my gosh, the Four of Wands. Ah, oh, Aries, what's on the bottom of the deck? Ten of Swords. I feel like you're hoping to renew things with this person. I'm going to say some of you, this could be somebody um, you're married and in separation, or maybe you divorced, or you were in a relationship. But I see this as someone here. You're still holding on to this person. That's what's unhealthy here, right? Holding on to this person, still thinking about this person, even though I see you trying to let go of it okay try to put your attention on other areas i sense that you're still holding on a little bit here okay you have the nine of wands and you have the three of pentacles you have the lovers it's very interesting i'm gonna have to clarify this lovers but i see you frustrated at the same time okay frustrated disappointed you know, disappointed that, you know, maybe the relationship here didn't work out. But I also get an energy of not wanting to give up completely. All right. Yeah. And that might be not be for everyone. You have the four of ones and you have the lovers. Okay. I'm going to clarify this lovers because lovers always brings choices, decisions. Okay. It could be two people. I see could be a choice here whether to work things out on this person with this person we'll see when we get to your person's energy why is the lovers card here you have the ten of cups the eight of pentacles 
the full card. The unknown card. Okay. I feel you're still trying to hold on to this, Aries. All right. I feel like you're making a decision whether to completely let this go, move on, open up your options. Potentially could possibly be a new person coming in here, but in your near future, I, I almost see here you not wanting to give up. Some of you, this is Twin Flame. Ten of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, the Fool card. Clarifying the levers, hoping for a new beginning, hoping things will work out. Hoping for happiness here. All right, Aries, let's, uh, let's look at your person now. I'm going to clarify this Page of Swords. Uh, they're definitely spying on you. Definitely they're having regrets here. Why is the Page of Swords here, please? You have the King of Cups. Oh, we forgot to we'll clarify the King of Cups next. King of Cups came out here too. The Unknown card. The High Priestess. Wow, your person's all caught up in their emotions. The Sun card and bottom of the deck here. The Temperance could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Okay. So this person, okay, this person comes across as somebody who, they're a little bit distant, I'm getting, okay, oh, maybe a little bit loof with you. I also see the Page of Swords as somebody, too, who likes to maybe um, portray themselves as single, um, but also I feel very, a little bit distant when it comes to their feelings and emotions here, okay? So this is somebody here I feel who is trying to go within, trying to listen to their intuition, how they feel about you. They're not feeling good, I, I'll tell you that. I mean, they're not feeling good in the sense that they're feeling alone, right? They're feeling, they're having regrets here. This can be somebody here who is, is uh, insecure, maybe a little bit uh, immature, I'm going to say. Let's see why the King of Cups is here, because the King of Cups showed up here too. Why is the King of Cups here? This is in your outcome position. When we take it to the extended, we'll, we'll, we will look at your person, what they're thinking or feeling about you, their upcoming actions, love messages, guidance, um, and I will look at new love as well. Okay, yeah, so there's delays here with your person. There's divine timing, I'm getting, look, yeah, divine timing, as I'm saying that, the wheel is on the bottom of the deck. So... It's not too clear yet how this is going to turn out, but I do see your person is missing you. They're having regrets about whatever happened between you and this person, but the King of Wands, the Hangman, and the Nine of Swords. This person is so caught up in their head about their feelings and their emotions. It's, it's delaying them from taking any sort of action, okay? Um, so it doesn't mean they're not going to take any action. They're definitely spying on you. Uh, but there's something here faded about this, okay? And, you know, it may be that it moves in a different direction. You got a new opportunity here, or this person gets their stuff together and they step up to the plate. So we're going to take it to the extended. We're going to see what direction this goes in Aries. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.